badass. Like, I just think it's the coolest thing. But, um, yeah, so I just dropped him off, and now I'm on the way to the chiropractor, and I just thought I'd do a little chronic illness health vlog for you guys today. I'm going to the chiropractor, and then I'm also going to try a infrared sauna for the first time. I read that it can help with detox whenever you're clearing lime out of your system, so I wanted to give that a try. I mean, I'm a little nervous. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about it because I have pots, so heat can sometimes trigger that. So we'll just we'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, and I just thought I'd take you guys along with me and just kind of share some of the things that I'm doing to take care of my health today. And it feels like all I ever do is pay for your excuses to buy a little time. I don't know why I even entertain it. You're never gonna change, hell, you're never gonna try. So I'm still trying to prove that I can love the worst of you. All right, so I'm home now, and the sauna was actually really, really nice. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, it took maybe like five minutes or so for my body to kind of acclimate to the fact that I was sitting in a very small and very hot space. Um, but after that, I actually enjoyed it and I felt like it made my muscles relax and I, um, it's a dry heat so I feel like that kind of helped and I had a bottle of salt water in there with me which helped me not to get potsy. Um, I use salt water to manage my pot symptoms. Um, I've tried so many other hydration supplements and drinks and I just, I haven't liked any of them. So I just use salt water and I feel like it works better for me anyway. So I just, I just drink salt water every day. <laughs> um, so I had a bottle of salt water in there with me and I felt like that helped. Um, I wasn't able to lie down. I feel like if somebody had severe pots like I've, I've been successfully managing my pots for a while now where I'm like actually pretty stable right now as long as I'm really vigilant about my self-care but like if I was in a more like severe potsy state probably would not have been comfortable for me um and it but I mean if I could have lied down maybe I would have been able to tolerate it if if pots was really bad that day but um, fortunately, it went well for me today, and I actually felt really energized afterwards. So, like, I woke up feeling really super fatigued this morning, like, really, really heavy fatigue, where, like, I didn't think I was going to be able to do anything today except for lie down. But I actually felt more energized after going to the sauna, which I thought was interesting. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to be a part of my regimen from now on. Um, I go to the chiropractor once a week, so I think after I go to the chiropractor, I'm just going to go to the sauna for a little bit, and fortunately it's really affordable. Like, I was surprised. She told me it was only $8 for a half hour, and I was like, what the? Like, of course I'm going to try this. Um, so yeah, that was, that was exciting. Um, so yeah, this is going to be part of my, my detox regimen as I'm healing from Lyme disease. Um, another thing that I really like to do to help support detoxification is dry skin brushing. So after I got home, I did my dry skin brushing, took a shower, um, I was able to do some dishes, like this, this sauna gave me so much energy, I got a lot done when I got home. Um, but yeah, um, so far the only other treatments I've really been doing for Lyme have been taking some herbs um, and so far I feel like that's going pretty well. Um, not experiencing intense 
die off symptoms, but I have noticed that I felt a little bit nauseous and um, my skin's breaking out a lot. So like, I don't know if you can really see, but like I have blemishes all over my chest right now. It's just so many pimples. Um, so my body's definitely trying to push some stuff out. So anything I can do to support that process, I'm going to do. I also want to mention in this video that my self-care doesn't always look like this. Like there are some days where I just do not have the energy to take care of myself at this level. And so I just wanted to mention that so you know like it's okay. Whatever you're capable of doing for yourself is worth doing. Um, any little bit of symptom relief that we can get is in my opinion worth the effort. Um, but if all you can do is lie in bed and rest that is also very, very nourishing and that is a good choice to make for your body. So like, if you're in a place right now where your health isn't very stable and you're not able to do all of these more active self-care activities, I don't want you to feel like you need to push yourself in order to do that. So like, I've, I've been working on my health, but like I'm finally in a stable space right now. I know what works for me. Um, I have a pretty solid routine, but like there are still some days where I don't feel good and I'm still just lying in bed all day. So like our routines, like they can fluctuate from day to day. What we need can fluctuate from day to day. Um, so this is just an example of what I'm doing right here, right now in this moment. But this is not like an example of what I'm always doing. Um, so I just wanted to mention that. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go make some lunch and then probably do some computer work until Jared gets off work and then I think we're gonna go to the park um, and walk the dog. So yeah, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. One of the ways I've been caring for my body lately is by sitting down at mealtimes without any distractions. Before I start eating, I pause for a moment, take some deep breaths, and just repeat some affirmations, really connect to the food I'm eating. I do a little Reiki on the food and on myself so that I'm ready to receive the nourishment and the healing that comes from our food. Um, and this has become a really sacred, really ritualistic part of my day. And I feel like it's really grounding and has been really good for me. If this is something that you are interested in building into your own self-care routine, I have a guided audio practice that walks you through this process of mindfully consuming your meals available inside Spoonie Yoga Studio and you can access it at the link in the description box below when you sign up for your membership. It's such a simple way to connect with your body and to connect with the earth and I like that this is a self-care routine that we can do that really doesn't take very much energy. And it really doesn't matter what you're eating in this moment. Like in this video, I'm just eating a package of microwave noodles, but still honoring this time that I'm taking for myself and for my body. Okay, so it's actually the following day. We didn't end up going to the park yesterday because it started raining, but we're here now. Jared is fishing. Akara is <laughs> eating some grass. We're currently working on walking together without her pulling on the leash, which has been a challenge. <laughs> but um, she's a really good dog. She's a really good listener. We actually have gotten her to start pulling um so in the winter time she pulled a sled for us so she could carry up our groceries and carry up our firewood for our wood burning stove and we want to get her a wagon so she can continue to carry things for us in the spring and summertime she really likes doing it um, and it's really helpful for me um, as a spoonie um, so that's really really nice but yeah we're currently working on not pulling on the leash um, but yeah, so it's day after going to the sauna. I still feel pretty good energy-wise, um, obviously, because I'm at the park right now working with the dog and walking. Um, 
but I do feel like my whole body's kind of sore today and I'm assuming it's from like toxins being released, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my update for now. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog, this little peek into my life and my self care. And um, if you'd like me to keep doing these, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And um, if you wanna say hi in the comments below, I'd love to hear what's going on in your life. And I will talk to you guys again really soon.